From Tiger TV Studios in the heart of Auburn High School, this is AHS Today with Shambria Stoll and Ansley Rendleman. Good morning, Auburn High School. It's Monday, January 28th, a bully day, and I'm Ansley Rendleman. And I'm Shambria Stoll, and this is AHS Today. Teachers, remember to post attendance. Now, let's see what's for lunch. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. 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 Today for lunch we're having chicken nuggets, country steak, steak sandwich with pizza. That's your studio. Did you know that recycling ink cartridges at our school helps provide funds that allow students to print and copy items for free at the AHS library? We also recycle cell phones. Please drop off cell phones that are broken or that you no longer use and empty ink cartridges for recycling at the library. Environmentally, it's the right thing to do and it helps benefit everyone at AHS. Now let's take a look at weather with Angie Smithson. Hey everyone, I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. I'm Smithsonian here with your weather report. Unfortunately, not only will the temperature rise to 67 degrees, but it will also be partly cloudy in the skies today. If you ask me, it really is a mundane Monday. But fortunately, the humidity will continue to rise, which means there might be something epic later this week. Log on to AHS Moodle if you ever want to find out what is happening in the local weather instantly. Back to you, Shambria. Thanks, Andrew. In news today, Anime Society will meet from 3.30 to 4.30 in Mrs. Forsyth's room, 8.13. An NCAA workshop will be offered today at 6 p.m. in the multimedia room. This event is open to all student athletes and their parents. Coming up tomorrow, HOSA will meet in the old gym immediately after school. They will be retaking their group picture for the yearbook. All members should attend. Photography Club will meet tomorrow after school in Ms. Stevens' room, 508, to take photos and discuss the rest of the semester. Bring a photo to share. Attention students, if you have taken or are currently enrolled in a math course above Algebra 2 with Trig, you may be eligible to join the Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society. This is an excellent opportunity to increase your honors on your resume. There are no meetings and no service requirements. The GPA requirement is a 3.5 in select math courses. Please see your current or former math teacher or Ms. Turner in room 9216 to obtain the link for the online application. The deadline to apply is February 15th. Come out and support the wrestling team tomorrow at 5.30 in the old gym during the Cancer Awareness Night sponsored by HOSA and help fight cancer. Make sure to wear pink. Now let's look at the effects of listening to music too loudly with EP and Bram. I listen to my music loud. I like my music loud. I listen to my music so loud that I can't hear people talk. The louder the music is, the better. Listening to music loudly or for an extended time period can damage hearing. It causes noise induced hearing loss, and many high schoolers already have damaged hearing. Really? How do you prevent hearing loss? It is easy to prevent. Make sure to keep your music at a level where nobody else around you can hear it. Also, you can use the 60-60 rule. Keep your volume at or below a 60% volume level and never listen for longer than 60 minutes. Thanks, EP and Bram. Teachers. Alex Insight Training will be this Wednesday during planning periods in room 201. Make sure you sign up on STIPD using the information on the attachment. You do not need to sign up again since the date has changed if you have already signed up. The City Council has voted to time restrict parking in certain areas on Terrace Acres Drive, Terrace Acres Circle, Flowers Avenue, and Flowers Circle. On weekdays from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m., signs will go up shortly. This week's Word of the Week is honesty. Always remember to tell the truth. 
Thanks for tuning in. That's AHS Today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and observe a moment of silence.